Today, Yusuf is going to be showing us how to wash a rug manually without a floor scrubber. To wash rugs, I always tell our guys to put scents in them. So this is a citrus or orange scent. It makes the rug smell really nice before and after the washing. It makes it smell really nice. So just put this, measure out the cup of this and pour it into the water you're using to wash the rug. And I guarantee the rug is going to be smelling really nice for up to eight weeks. Now, this is another one I used to. This one comes in pebbles. This is, I take out a measurement like this. I pour it into a bucket of about five liters uh, of water. And I stare it. These things are going to dissolve in the water, and the rug is going to be smelling really nice when you wash it with the water that you put this in. So you can see this is called an in wash aroma booster and odor elimination. So your first step would be to find an open area outside. This is an open area we have outside. Spread the rug out like this. We have a little tap underneath it. You can see the little tap underneath it now. So spread the rug out like this. Then you are going to dust it with either a broom or um, your vacuum cleaner. So for sofa or rug laundry, you need three different kind of machines. So you can either use this one. This one is called a wet and dry vacuum cleaner. It doesn't spray water. It only vacuums. Okay. The accessories are inside. I'll show you the others we have. We have about four different kinds of vacuum cleaners. This particular one is also a steam wet and dry vacuum cleaner. This one produces steam and it vacuums at the same time. This is a spray extraction wet and dry vacuum cleaner. It sprays water and it extracts water at the same time. And this one comes with a transparent mount. A transparent mount that a lot of people are fond of. And we have them available for sale. We also have this wet and dry vacuum cleaner. This particular one is called a Pussy 8. We also have a Pussy 10, which is bigger than this one. It's a German machine and it's really expensive. This one is currently going for a million plus right now. Um, I bought this uh, about um, six uh, months ago or a year ago. I've had the Pussy 10 for about uh, three years now. And honestly, it has very good reviews. This one also has good reviews. So this is a German product and it's also a wet and dry vacuum cleaner. It sprays water and it extracts water. So you've seen all the different kinds of vacuum cleaners we have. I always like to have as many vacuum cleaners as possible because sometimes you might be on site and the machine spoils, you know, and then, um, you know, you wouldn't want to just keep your work hanging because you don't have any machine to continue. So this Boozy 8, it also comes with a transparent mount like this. If you can't afford the Pussy 8, you can definitely afford the yellow one, which I told you we have, we sell at here at Chi Clean. That one is also an equivalent, it's like an Android equivalent of this one, because this one is like uh, a German iPhone. This mousy looking thing you're seeing over here is a steam cleaner. We use it to steam the rug. It produces a steam. Um, you can use it to steam either your rug or your sofa, and its work is just to um, loosen up the dirt you know if you have any tough stain on the rug or the sofa you use this to steam it to loosen up the dirt now this produces steam we're going to show you how this works so we have to put water in the steamer for it to work so this is why here this area is uncocked so our people can pour water in there plug it in and after a few minutes it's going to get hot and it will be ready for use this is how we put water into the so you fetch your water and then you're going to put some soap into it and um you don't need any special kind of soap for your upholstery cleaning honestly this is just regular liquid soap that we produce here at chicken and um we just pour a bit inside the water and turn it then you're going to be using brushes hand brushes take a look at the hand brushes so you need hand brushes these hand brushes are going to replace the um floss scrubber you're, we're going to use these hand brushes to wash the rock and it's going to give a very good result so let's see the other one yeah so you can get yourself either this brush or that brush cost about 500 naira or 300 naira and you can use it to do your sofa and your rock this into the bucket of water just a little bit yeah so this is a dry vacuuming we are dry vacuuming to remove the door and the sun that is soaking up the water that we use to wash the rug and is taking it into the machine. All the water we use to wash the rug, this machine is going to suck it up so that the rug is almost dry. You can see it's almost dry. Then we're going to use a dryer or keep it out in the sun to completely dry up. Now, if you don't do this process, the rug is going to smell and it's not going to dry properly. It will always be wet. 
So this vacuum cleaner is going to suck up all the water we use to wash it so that the rug will now properly dry. So after vacuuming the rug, the final process is to put the dryer and turn it on. So we have a lot of dryers because we like our drying to be quick. So these two are industrial dryers. They are quite expensive. They go for about 200,000 Naira now. So these two are industrial dryers. We're going to plug them in. Air would come out from here to dry the rug. Now this is a pointed gun dryer. This one needs someone to carry it. You can, you have to carry it. This is cheaper and only comes in foreign use. And it costs about 60, 65,000 Naira. So this one, the power of this one is less than that one. You need at least two or three of these to get the strength of that one. But you know, if you cannot afford that one, you can definitely do this one. So this is the same thing. This is the same gun dryer. We have a lot of dryers, as I said. This is one of the ones we have in storage. So these, these two, we would also use it to dry out the rug or you can just, you know, put out the rug and turn on the big dryer and hang them on the wall without using these ones. Uh, so anyway, we have a lot of dryers. So um, by the time we turn all of them on, it will not take us up to one hour to dry that rug. And the same process applies for a sofa. So you can see there's a difference between this area and this area. This area has not been washed yet, but this area has been washed and you see how nice it's looking already. So don't mind these these and are the designs the of the process, rocks which so is that the area is looking and clean. you can see we're using one industrial dryer here it's going to take us about two or three hours you can to dry see washing with a brush rock. if you like this content uh, give us a thumbs up uh, and share it doesn't make much of a difference the only thing is that it takes more time cleaning machines just makes you faster